Hi there, it's Scott, and I wanted to tell you about some a new announcement that Microsoft made at the end of 2018 that affects you. If you are currently studying for 7532, then you have got to pass that test before December 31st, 2018, because after that, you can no longer book the test. Now, we've known this for a few months now, so this shouldn't be a huge surprise, but basically, the 7532 has been expired as of December 31st. Now, don't panic. Don't worry. If you did take it, you did pass it, or you're planning to, then uh, that's fine. You're going to get that certificate. It's going to be on your on your sort of your transcript. If you earn the MCSA or MCSE, that will be valid as well. But after December 31st, you can no longer take the test and it no longer um, counts towards anything new. But you know, as sometimes happens, Microsoft has had a rethink on the new exams. So there is a new exam that's just been announced, AZ203, available as of January 3rd, 2019. This new exam is a single test that if you pass, will get you the Azure a Developer Associate certification. So one test and you can be certified as an Azure developer. There is no more 200 and 201. So up till now, they've been trying to replace that 532 with two tests, and they've realized that it doesn't make sense to do it that way. So there's a one single test to get you to the uh, Azure Developer Associate certification. What that also means is there's no more transition exam as well, because you can take the 203. It doesn't make sense for them to have a 202. So the brand new exams that were announced at Microsoft Ignite that have been in beta from uh, October, November, December are expired effective immediately. So if you've taken them, great. If you have not taken them, then um, Microsoft will basically send you a voucher uh, or you won't have a chance to book them uh, from today on. Now there are some exceptions. So let's say you took the AZ200 and the AZ201 in beta and you're waiting for your beta results. Well, Microsoft will score those so they're going to score the 200 and 201 on the content that is only on the 203 exam. And if you passed it according to that score, you're going to get your certification. So if you did in good faith take the 200 and 201 and you passed it, then you're going to get the certification and there's nothing for you to do. So they've changed it going forward and they're giving you uh, the certification for the pass. Now, if you only took the 200, they are going to score it as well because a lot of the 203 exists on the 200 exam. So they're going to score it, but it's going to be a higher pass score. So if you barely passed AZ200, then you're not going to, that's not going to count as a, as a pass. They're going to have a higher uh, passing score for this exam. Now, if you took the AZ200 only in beta, they're not going to score it because that um, no longer is enough to get you anything. So you can pass 201. It doesn't get you any certification or anything. You still have to take the 203 uh, in order to get that Azure Developer Certificate. If you did take the transition exam, then good news, they will score that as well. And if you pass the transition exam, you're going to get the uh, Azure Developer Certificate. So hopefully that makes sense. The 201 is not enough to get you, the 201 by itself is not enough to get you the Azure Developer Certificate, but the 200 is if you get a score that's high enough, and the 202 is. Okay, so to summarize, there's a brand new certification, AZ203, I'm going back here, not to confuse you, brand new certification, AZ203. Uh, the good news is the 70-532 course will contain AZ203 content when that goes live. So there's nothing more for you to buy. You're going to get the new content. You'll upgrade your existing cert from 532 to the new one, or you will uh, take it for the first time. It's the same test and you're getting it for free. Okay, so that's the breaking news. There is a Microsoft blog post uh, de describing this. I'll link to it uh, either in the description or as attached to a resource to this lecture. And um, you got nothing to worry about. So stay tuned, I'll always keep you updated when there's breaking news relating to this exam.